have you avoided getting married? I say avoided because so many entertainers plunge into, you know, pretty awful marriages and then go through the inevitable breakdown, the expensive divorce, they end up and living aren't, in misery. Aren't you going to get in trouble with your wife for talking about marriage this way? She would way, expect like, me to ask these kind of okay, questions. No, but you're talking about it like, it, you know, you didn't get caught and... I mean that. Well, I, I guess what I'm saying is you, you've managed to preserve the right to behave how you, you know what, like. One thing I, I, was, I was, I've never been a liar. There are lots of people who don't like me, and that's fine. I say things. I never say anything purposely to piss people off, but I say what I feel, and you know that will piss a lot of people off. But they can't say I'm a liar. And to me, not getting married was part of that. You know, if some people just have a very strong libido. And you just have to deal with it. And if I had gotten married uh, any time before now, you know, I, I couldn't have been faithful. So I just lived the life where I could be true to myself and true to other people. Have you ever boarded on, on being a sexaholic? First of all, there's no such thing as a sexaholic. <laughs> That's something Dr. Drew made up to explain <laughs> Andy Dick. There's no such thing. Um, no, I, what, what I will say is that people, especially men, I can't really speak for women, but I know men have very different libido levels. Some people are just hornier. You know, Andrew Weiner, I think, is just at a stage of his life where he's very horny, and that will subside. I found it subsided a bit after I turned 50 or in my early 50s, and it was a great relief. It was like getting a monkey off your back. <laughs> not that you can't still have a good sex life, but it's not like this constant urging that you have to take care of. I had uh, Ray Kurzweil on the show recently, and he's a, I love Ray, and he said he's taking testosterone. And he said, you know, you should take some. Well, first of all, I wouldn't do that because I'm not sure what the repercussions are. But also, I said, Ray, I just finally got to the point in my life where I have not so much testosterone <laughs> coursing through my veins, running my life. I'd like to keep it that way. Are you still attending the Playboy Mansion on a regular basis? <laughs> this always comes and is up. It, and is it, true, all, is it true that you honestly believe you only go there for the food? <laughs> <laughs> I said that it was a joke. Uh, first of all, I never, ever went to the Playboy Mansion more than a few times a year. I went when they had parties. They used to have parties. I mean, everything Hef does is like clockwork. Well, I, I mean, went to I went to the Midsummer Night's yeah, Dream a, One. Unbelievable. There was it was a like, mid like going back to Caligula times. Yeah, yeah, yes and no. I mean, I, I've never been in the grotto. Doesn't that say something for me? I have. <laughs> You went in the grotto? I went in the grotto. I wouldn't get in there on a bet. It was fascinating. There must have been diseases in there from when Around Columbus came. Around every cave. In. Are you kidding? No. I, the, <laughs> but, you know, I went when they had, a, they had a party New Year's Eve. Very often I went. I went to Hef's birthday, I think, in April, the Midsummer Night's Dream, Halloween. That's when I went to the party. I mean, they make it sound like I lived there. You know, I didn't go to the Playboy Mansion that much. I'm, Bill Cosby is there more than I am. Once get on his You're beginning case. to sound a bit defensive about this, Bill. Well, because it just <laughs> never, ever doesn't come up. Whatever interview but you're I in. I don't think of you as a lesser guy for going to the Playboy Mansion all yeah, the time. Of course I'm not. But, but the fact that it obsesses people that I've, you know, I've been to the Playboy Mansion parties. And by the way, they're just good parties. It's just a guy with a nice big backyard <laughs> who's very generous with his liquor. And there's a lot of hot chicks around. I've been to other parties that could be described the same way. Right. <laughs>